We love that. Uh, management quests. In here, we get watches, pants, and shirts and stuff. And money. And then uh, people want to be happier. That makes sense. All that makes sense. Alright, so we need to go to A24 here in just a few minutes. Man, I'm really surprised that I can't take more guests in. It makes me sad. We have two empty bedrooms. Two very sad empty bedrooms. Relocate this. Perfect. Look at that. Hey, Dolphin. How you doing? Hey, cheers, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you being here. I'm sorry you had a rough day. I do fully understand. But uh, we're glad you're here. Welcome. Welcome. We're going to relax. We're playing some Baron Breakfast where we are making a uh, air, a hair BNB. <laughs> Sweet. We got more uh, guest requests. Uh, so let's see. They want a decoration. I'd rather not take you in. Everybody else is fine. We'll accept this. We'll accept this. I think bedroom one already has somebody in here. Yeah. So we did. We did accept some more. So we'll have four people staying with us. Which should be fine. Should be fine. We'll come visit this in a bit. Oh, so this is a 24. All right, this is what we were looking for. Hey, Dolphin. Appreciate that follow. Welcome to the Union, my man. Welcome to the Union. All right, so we can get some rocks, it looks like. Take all the rocks. We can rock and roll. Black moss over that way. Good to know. As soon as Velocity gets settled, I'm going to show her her character. Uh, Dolphin, just so you know, Velocity's my wife. She just got home. You want to see? Go ahead and uh, tune in and let me know when you are when you're tuned in, and I'll I'll walk back up there. Oh heck yeah, that's a good measuring tape. Oh, look at this. Got the trash. Nice cloth and screws. Gotta love it. Ooh, good find. I know who you are. I know who you are. Let me deconstruct this stuff before we talk to all you guys. We'll take all this trash so we can bargain. Good place to hide a body. Okay. This game, this game turned into a different type of game there for a moment. All right, so we did, uh... We did pick up 110 trash. Nice. That's trash is our money in this game. There's more, more money. And uh, basically, we repurpose garbage, and uh, we sell the humans' trash back to them. <laughs> well, hey, Velocity, welcome back. I'm glad you had such a productive day at work. You too. Yeah. I have a bit of coffee left. Uh, thank you. All right. So check out this character. I'm getting up there. I have to walk past all the humans without startling them too much. But this, this is, it's basically you. Their name is Took. Professional trash talker at your disposal. Me. It is you. It is you. At your... Garbage disposal, that is. You do wear the same style of clothes. But she she sells things out of her dumpsters that we use in the Airbnb. Would you like to see my Airbnb? Here's my Airbnb. I have a possum clock. I've got a uh, a beat up uh, dresser or table. That we that we bought from Took and a uh, a broken mirror that we also bought from Took, and all these people are terrified to see me. Ooh, trash! Nice. 
I am very much enjoying this game. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad I'm enjoying it too. I am going to take these wood, this wood before we get out. You're about a half hour into the game. You're not sure you met Took yet. You looking forward to it? Uh, it took, took is a wonderful character, a wonderful character that 100% is my wife. Uh, I heard a rattlesnake. I don't see the rattlesnake, but I hear it. Ooh, more trash. Ooh. He's candy. Diner sign. Only construction service. No available instructions. Tony's construction service. No available instructions. Perfect. Let's go ahead and pick up all this trash. Take all that. Take all this. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. Uh, this looks like a good place. What do we got over here? Uh, motel sign. Okay. Hey, shark boys down there. Let's see, we need three pine wood planks. Confirm that. Now we can start construction here. Nice. Rooms can be built and furnished. Let's pick up all the money that's just laying around out here. You know, one man's trash is another man's treasure. That's, that's what they always say. This is a nice, nice place in here. I'm assuming people are going to want things like, uh, toilets and stuff. Unfortunately, I'll have to give it to them. This reminds me a lot of, uh, was it Hotel Hell? Where, where Chef Ramsay has to deal with, with bad hotel people. Oh, we can't build in here yet. But we already rebuilt that, so I guess that's nice. Hey, Barbara. Oh, sorry. There's money over here. I got to get. Oh. Anything over here I can steal? I'll turn off that since we're a conservationist. Hey, travel itinerary. We love books, even though we can't read. Ooh, treasure chest. I hear the snake, man. And it's like surround sound. It's like right over there, but I don't know if I like get hurt by it. Right, what you got in here? Hey, possum clock. Nice. That's 120 or 100, I think. The left foot, right foot, just keep going. Your bones can't ache if they don't have time to think about it. Uh, it's fair. It's a fair assessment, Barbara. Oh, we can buy out of here now, too. That was a hundred trash we found. Dude, we have 400. We can carry a lot. We have 463 trash on us. I gotta say, I like it. I feel like, uh, cause the stone is a new crafting component. I feel like we're going to need stone to craft here in this, this biome, this area. I'm just taking as much as I can. I guess we should go talk to uh, the Don. We'll get this quest going. What the boss says goes. No exceptions. Oh, she wants to fight me. He's been digging through scraps longer than you've known how to wear a hat. It's a unique insult there, friend. Speaking of wearing a hat, I'm gonna put my hat on. Not there either. Either skip town again. He's lying in a ditch somewhere. Lining a ditch. That boy couldn't tell his tail hole or his mouth hole. But he wouldn't bail. Not on us. Uh oh, 10 o'clock, Chief. What a surprise. Our hefty entrepreneur. Is there a problem, boss? No. Not yet, anyway. 
How'd you find the trip, Hank? I don't think I told you my name. You didn't have to. I knew it before your mother did. Hey. I don't think she knew, sir. Mom didn't name me. The air really is thinner up there, isn't it? Listen, I'm trying my best, okay? Sure is. I, I didn't catch your names. It's because I didn't throw it around. It's on a need-to-know basis. Okay, Anton. Need-to-know basis. Well, I, I kind of need to know. You won't get far with that attitude, kid. Anyway, I'm Anton. I run the place. W what place? <laughs> This place. This place. What place? This place. Everything the stench touches. Listen. You haven't heard all those questions yet. My collaborator up north says you're up to something good, bringing people back to the valley. That's good news for everyone, but we have a problem. When my crew went missing three nights ago, Claire will fill you in. We lost Wade approximately at 9 p.m. near the Black Moss border. We are out doing our scavenger runs. I was negotiating, negotiating a particularly heavy piece of scrap. Ten seconds later, I turned around and there was no Wade. This is low hiss of the swamp. Do you have any idea what happened to him? No, but you will. I'll make you a deal. You need me and my dump to get your little venture up and running. Otherwise, you'll run around for scraps and die of old age before your first customer sets foot in the place. I'll let you keep any scrap you find uh, in here if you get us weighed back. We suspect he's somewhere in Black Moss. That's where I check first. I don't know, Claire's got a really weird accent. I wouldn't be sitting around if I were you. you calm yourself. I need to go talk to my manager people that own me. Because I pressed the button. Oh, looks something we can steal. Cluck, cluck. Looks refreshing. Can't open this yet. This witch. I never buy, only sell until you make the big bucks. All right, that's fair. Guess we're not ready to talk yet. Ooh. We can get more requests per day with a gas pump. With We need plastic boards and steel plates, though. Uh, there's got to be a bus station around here somewhere, too. I suspect. All right, I'm going to go to sleep because nighttime, nighttime vision in this game is not fantastic. Ding, ding. Two guests arrived. One guest complete their stay. 130 from one guest. Oh, we got to go to Blackwater. All right. Since this place is right up here, not too far away, let's go take care of business at the inn. Then we'll come back down there. But before we get that going, let's go ahead and raid the streams here. Boom. All right, looking promising. <laughs> yeah, we got this one. This one's easy one. Nice, die piggy die. That's safe to say, right? All right. Let's do this. Who's getting those bonuses? Nice. Forgot all about those avatars. Uh, the stream avatar thing? I've thought about it here and there. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know if it, uh, rigged. I don't know if it contributed to the, uh, how much it contributed to the stream, if any.
All right. Let's get back into it. So let's go ahead and we'll accept another hotel guest. Beat it on my bear. Rawr, 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 rawr. Oh, there's the motel. We haven't uh, haven't got there yet. Bedroom one is empty. Let's see. You want comfort five? What's this? Higher than average comfort during this day. Listen, I ain't got that. In a shaw, get you in bedroom one. Uh, and we have. Dang, look at this. Great. Lovely experience and great host. We'll be looking, uh, we'll be booking in advance for my next trip. Nice. Dude, they copy and pasted each other's review. All right, let's go to Blackwater or Blackwoods. Look at that. That's me. I'm the bear. No, excuse me. Steal this. All right, we can make our way through here now uh, with all of the charcoal lilies and stuff. Nice, nice. Lots of weed. We love the weed. Oh, a washing machine. That should give us some steel. Uh, iron. No steel. All right. Fair enough. All right. Uh, yeah. This we'll use the logger's tools for. Definitely worth it there. What's the stream captain bot about? Uh, so I do... I do stream raiders, which is what you saw up there just a moment ago. And the uh, captain bot gives you the link to the stream raiders battle. And uh, it throws up reminders every now and then when it's time to battle. And uh, when a new battle starts, like it just did right there. So it'll pop up every 30 minutes or so. Uh, stream raiders is something that we do in the background of the game, so we play. Uh, it happens every 30 minutes. It's moss all over it. Happens every 30 minutes, you can place units every five minutes. You kind of level up your units. It's kind of like a cool little RPG aspect to it. And you can place epics. All right, let's see. What you got, Crocagator? Uh, hello. Yeah, no worries. No worries, man. Not this again. I swear on my tail. What happened this time? Stuck a hand down the drain pipe? Bad mushrooms? Heard a noise coming from trees? Oh no, I was just looking. Because I hate to break it to you. All trees make noise. It's pretty much all they do. I don't know, Charlotte. This seems a bit off. They sure as hell ain't doing it for you. Uh, sorry to bother you, ma'am. I'm just looking for a friend. A friend here? Happy hour ain't what it used to be. He's pretty small, and I think he got lost. I'm worried something happened to him. Small? How small are we talking here? Because small things don't last a long time around here. Unless you mean shelf life. Oh gosh, no, he's a rat. His name's Wade. Oh, crickets. Someone came looking for that again? Should be paying me rent. Yeah, I know. Where you? I know where your Wade is, unfortunately. Come inside. Inside? Oh, don't go all brave on me. You're too big for my cauldron anyway. I like Charlotte. Charlotte looks very friendly. As a native Floridian. Charlotte's friendly. Here we go. And then, just before the tire hit, boss pulled up his cane and smacked it out of the way. Oh, golly. And then what happened? We got the piece and scrammed. Wow, what was it like, the thing? Oh, you mean little artifact that you were truly sniffed out in less than an hour? Only just about the rustiest cataclysmic comforter you've ever seen. Cataclysmic, cataclysmic, Cata cataclysm. Whoa, 
He stank too. Real bad. Friendly and like she's the kissing kind? Mmm, probably not the kissing kind. We think a cockroach lived in it before we found it. Whoa! Wig, what I'd say about liaison with the criminals. <laughs> That's a funny word for talking. Criminal? Where? Yes, I'm mm, sorry. Besides, we have a guest. A rather unusual one at that. All the dogs just randomly started barking. I coughed and then they were like, ha ha! Wait, are you wait? Hello? I mean, no, I'm not. Oh yes, he is. A festering nosy pest that can't keep his tail out of other people's business. I was prepping for him for pickling if you know if... I was prepping him for pickling if you need to know. His tiny bones make for great feather holders. <laughs> no, you were not. Trying to joke might have been two subtle kisses from a gator. Who are they friendly with these make questionable? No, no, no. As a Floridian, as a Floridian, gators are just nice. They're just nice animals. They're so nice. So nice. Hold their mouth shut and kiss them from behind. I've seen those shows down in the Everglades. Said you didn't know how to get rid of them. Shush, child. Who wants to know? Your boss. I'm on a mission to get you back to the dump. Your boss is worried sick. You talk to Mr. A. Or more like slightly preoccupied. I can't believe he sent someone after me. Hey, he told me to bring you back. Let me use the dump. So I can get more humans in the valley. Never lets outsiders in the dump. You must be something special, mister. Well, let's not get too hasty, Mr. Special. Strat isn't leaving this place just like that. She just said you wanted him gone. Of course I do, but now you want to take him. There's a value of a circumstance. I ran out of charcoal lilies for my pickle juice. You won't find them anywhere else but black moss. Or maybe the bird brain A24 has some for sale. He just gets them here anyway. Alright. Bring back if you want to see about jailbreaking your friend here. Okay, how many do I need? From Warning Gator, sounds like it could be a good time. Oh, a dozen lilies. Jeez. Next time you're taking him back in a jar and paying double. Thanks for helping us, mister. Miss Charlotte can't be after Lily's like she used to. Shush, child. Oh, I don't think I had 12. Charlotte, the half-tailed alligator, struck Hank as someone who was good at trying to be scary. But didn't always stick to the landing. Yep, that's alligators. As European, I can't imagine living in a place where gators were a possibility. So the thing is, though, is, like, alligators aren't that, like, they're scary from a distance. But if you see one in real life, they're not, they're not, like, going to attack you. They are tasty. They're not, they're not going to attack you unless you are, um... Uh, Putting yourself in a situation to be attacked, if that makes sense. Like, if you're swimming in the swamplands and there's a couple alligators that are hungry, then yeah, you know. They'll absolutely attack you during mating season? Yeah, but that's putting yourself in a position to, to be attacked, right? Like, if you live in any major city, you're not, you're not going to run into them. So need some gator. Last time I was in Los An Louisiana or Los Angeles. I had to get some, but it was in the wrong area. Easier to tell normies to stay away. Yeah, but that spreads like fear. When gators aren't something to be feared, really. As evidenced by Twiggy, her tadpole buddy. Oh, that's a tadpole. More of me into a frog. 
Very near tiny present debunked any worry about Charlotte that anyone had. Dare to be eaten, not feared? Exactly. Well, you know, now we have crocodiles and caimans down here too. So, there's that. Shush, child. Alright, Pipsqueak. Scram. Cool. Alright, we got, we got that. I don't know if I'll need those charcoal lilies for anything else, but I'm pretty sure I didn't have 12 of them. I'm gonna fall asleep right in front of her. Thanks, uh, some of them are venomous, but even the ones that aren't, aren't aggressive without reason. Exactly, exactly. They're, they're just like any other animal, right? Like, none of them... Like, they're not gonna come up and, and, like, seek you out to hunt you down, right? That's just... That's not how any alligator I've run across has, uh, has acted. However, I will say that crocodiles and caimans are different. Crocodiles are mean. Caimans are mean. But thankfully, I haven't seen any uh, of either of them around Jacksonville, which is where I live in Florida. I think they're a bit more south. So I don't really think I have to worry about them too much. Water moccasins will bite you for no reason. That's true. Uh, water moccasins are water moccasins are very highly they're highly aggressive. Uh, they're also known as cottonmouth snakes. Fun fact: they can also bite underwater. I believe they're the only species of snake they can bite underwater, or one of the only species of snake they can bite underwater. I don't know which one it is. All right, so we got. Um, we need to get the better shed. West done. Makes noodling complicated. Uh, good thing I'm not big in the fishing. All right, here is Finn. Nothing leaves another game. Press the green button. Hello again. Be part of the next exciting experience, enticing escape, electrifying enterprise. Yeah, you've told me that before. I'm already part of one. Welcome to the arid plains. Desket desert. We're sitting in a parking lot. The wild wasteland. Can't believe I'm following a fish suit around. A24 is the main artery of the valley. When guitars hum and tunes of old country roads, this is the one they're singing about. This brand new premium habitation facility is the first step. The first and only stop for the brave explorer on the run. An oasis in an otherwise barren realm. There's literally a shop across the road, dude. Make no mistake, adventurers can be expected to live off a tent and trail mix. They require the best amenities. Which is perfect point, which is the perfect point of my expansion for your now chain of premium properties. That sense a lot of cleanup work coming. You should always trust your senses. Uh check the sign next to the motel. Start yep, yeah, I already did all that. I gotta clean it up. Welcome Roadside Motel. Would you like to repair it? Yup. You want a noodle one day? I've I've not had the desire to go noodling. I've gotta say, chat, I've just not had the desire to ever go noodling. Step one, clear out any debris, garbage inside the structure. I already did that. Yup. Not a step. Just thought I'd like you know. You did a good job. Oh, thanks, Tony Sign. Step two, gather construction materials needed to repair the structure. In this case, plywood planks, nails, and stone. I think I have everything. Yep, all here. Get your butt to work. Sweet, look at that. We got ourselves a hotel motel. Oh, who that? Uh, there's a possum. That I'm gonna go talk to right now. He's wearing a tie. His name is Gus. Hi. Oh, he's a car salesman. In the middle of the desert, the rundown metal shack, lived Gus, the most handsome possum in A24. Seemed like uh, digging through junk was the main activity around here, and he was no rookie. He's wearing a bow tie and a tie. 
because he's that's how you know he's a real possum although he looked of it gus primary's concern remain his charm and driving wheel hi oh hello hmm i'm hank okay who are you gus nice to meet you gus yes it is what do you do gus not much dude i love gus Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Baron Breakfast, and as always, thanks to my patrons. This was recorded August 5th, 2022 at twitch.tv backslash trustin. I stream over there four days a week. So if you ever want to come talk to me live, I'll see you there.